Nothing says country music quite like the Grand Ole Opry. Membership is exclusive by invitation only and comes with a requirement to play at least 12 shows at the Opry each year, although that requirement these days is rarely enforced. And once a Grand Ole Opry member passes, their membership also expires. So that means today, there were only 73 members of the Grand Ole Opry. So when 52-year-old Sarah Evans was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry just a couple of weeks ago, the last thing anyone expected her to say was no. But that's exactly what she said, declining in a rather humorous way. Without a doubt, Sarah Evans was completely shocked when longtime Opry member and host Whisperin' Bill Anderson asked her to join the Opry. She immediately started laughing in disbelief and then turned and buried her face in her hands. It was evident she was trying to control her tears before she playfully looked up at Bill Anderson and said no. And this time, it was Whisperin' Bill's time to be surprised. He certainly was not expecting that answer. But it didn't take long for Sarah to compose herself and give her official heartfelt response. This is what she said. There is no way that I would say no. I've been waiting to be asked to join the Opry for a long time, and it's always been a dream of mine. I'm so honored that you're here to ask me that question. It means everything to me. It was very clear that Sarah Evans was completely shocked and humbled by her invitation as she was barely able to speak without choking up. Now, one reason that Sarah was so emotional about joining the Opry is that she had been working toward that goal since she was a youngster. Before she had her number one hits like Born to Fly and Suds in the Bucket back in the early 2000s, she had visited the Grand Ole Opry for the first time with her grandfather when she was just 11 years old. Her grandfather enamored her with all the stories of the great country heroes that had sung on that very stage. And Sarah Evans walked out, hoping to join them someday. Soon after graduating high school, she moved to Nashville to pursue a career in country music. And she made her Opry debut about 25 years ago in 1998 by singing Your Cheating Heart by Hank Williams. But I did notice something about the quote I shared earlier when Sarah told Bill, I'm so honored that you're here to ask me that question. It means everything to me. Now, I wanted to know what made Sarah Evans and Whispering Bill Anderson so close. So I did a little digging and found a very interesting fact about these two. Back in 1997, Sarah Evans released her first album called Three Chords and the Truth. Now, one of the songs on that album was called Walk Out Backwards, which was first written and sung by none other than Whisperin' Bill Anderson himself way back in 1960. So it makes sense why having Bill Anderson as the host the same night she was invited was so important. And of course, the two sang Walk Out Backwards together right there on the Opry stage that very night. What a special moment for Sarah Evans and the Grand Ole Opry. And congratulations to Sarah, the newest member of the Opry. So for all you Sarah Evans fans, which song is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to find out which song you enjoy the most by Sarah Evans. Thanks for joining us here. And until next time, y'all take care.